Hi everyone, so the first thing that you will need for this DIY hair mask is 100% pure coconut oil. I use the KTC one and as you can see it's solid at room temperature so you're going to need to warm it up. It would be easier if you had it in a jar and you can scrape some out and warm it in the microwave but because this one has some metal on the bottle I can't just put it in the microwave so I warm it up on a hob or in a hob. I would just leave it in warm water for around 1-2 to two minutes and then it will become like this, a bit liquidy. I didn't melt it all the way because I don't need all of it and I just kind of pour as much as I need. I have really long hair so I need a lot. And then we're going to take some honey, you can use any honey that you like and I'm, I put around 2 full spoonfuls, teaspoon, not teaspoons spoonfuls I think that's what it's called um, but again you can just put as much as you need really um, and then I am going to take an egg and just crack that open in that as well and please make sure that before you put the egg in make sure the oil has uh, cooled down a bit because you don't want the egg to cook in the oil and then you just have to mix it all in It does look kind of disgusting but trust me it's super healthy and amazing for your hair. So right now I have kept um, almond oil in my hair uh, overnight and it's completely saturated in it and my hair actually smelled nice that's why I kept smelling it if you guys are wondering but I'm just going to rinse that out quickly under the sink and then apply the mask and before applying the mask I did kind of um, dry my hair out with a towel to remove any excess water because then the product the mask is going to sink into your hair better and basically I just really saturate my hair with this hair mask the coconut is super helpful for like hair growth it stimulates your hair follicles to like grow your hair basically it makes your hair shiny and it just makes your hair less dry and looks super healthy and then the honey is just for moisturization and then the egg is basically pro more adding more protein to your hair because your hair is made out of keratin which is a fibrous po protein and egg is just mostly protein so it's really good for your hair so I like to keep that hair mask in for around an hour but you can keep it in for longer, the more you leave it in the better it is. And then I'm just going to take my Tresemme shampoo, you can use any shampoo that you like but I really like Tresemme ones at the moment. And I'm just going to really make sure that I wash this out of my hair because you don't want your hair to stink of egg. So I add in shampoo twice, so I add shampoo, rinse it and I add it again and then rinse it again um, just to make sure I get everything out and I would suggest doing this hair mask routine maybe every two weeks or so because it's super super healthy for your hair and when my hair was super short I kept doing this like really often because I just wanted my hair to grow really long and I just hated my short hair and it's so good for your hair it's just so nutritious and when you wash your hair and dry it out your hair feels so 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 lovely like literally it feels so soft and then I did also add in some leave-in conditioner by Charles Worthington I just prefer to use a leave-in conditioner than use one while I'm washing my hair but that's all I do for my hair mask routine. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and then until next time I will see you then. Bye guys! Here's Lily. She'll be joining us. She's our sister too. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm back with my sister and